this viewing of the 1978 Sam Steele Days Parade. Once again, our vantage point is at the corner of 1st and 8th Avenue in downtown Cranbrook, and you're watching the Legion and RCMP color guard leading off the parade, just turning the corner from 1st onto 8th Avenue, and there's Miss Cranbrook formerly Miss Sweetheart of Sam Steele, Delane Morris. Good morning, I'm Cornell Sanchuk, and I have Karen Penner with me to commentate on the parade this year on television. Karen, good morning. Good morning, Cornell, and what a beautiful day for a parade. The sun's shining, the sky's clear, a little breeze, just a fantastic day. Cornell, just coming to us now, we have the PPCLI Infantry Band from Vancouver, and tonight these Young people will be performing a sunset setting ceremony up at Moyer Park. Let's listen to them. Setting up a nice drum beat there for us, Karen, to start things off. I must say that there's a lovely crowd here today. When we drove by up and down the parade route about a half hour ago, we saw a lot of people and it's just been uh, pouring in since then. On a beautiful day like today, a perfect day for a parade, people are really enjoying it. As we said, Miss Cranbrook, Delane Morris leading the parade and now the Pacific, the Patricia Pat Light Infantry, Canadian Light Infantry Band. In front of us now, Cornell on her car, our chairman, Jean Anderson, and I must say, what a fantastic job this lovely lady has done. I swear she's bionic. <laughs> Behind Jean are the 1978 Sweetheart contestants and our 1978 Sweetheart, Lorinda Evans, her princesses, Jeannie Morrison, and Cheryl Patton. And Cornell, the beautiful boat the girls are riding on is courtesy of Kootenai Marina. Right, and of course, don't forget the rest of the girls uh, who are in the boat. No, our contestants, Kayla Jensen, Patricia Webster, Angela Nolte, and Barb Bram. Now coming behind, we have some visiting royalty, Karen. They're on a boat also donated by Kootenai Marina, Miss Grand Forks, Queen Heather, Princess Angelica, Kootenai Com County Junior Miss. That's the Queen Vicky Minton and Princess Shirley Pyle from Coeur d'Alene. And Miss Alpine Days from Elkford. Welcome girls to Cranbrook. Well, it looks as if uh, election or no, we have the uh, candidates in full force. There's the uh, candidate for the Liberal Party, Joe Conroy, who's got himself a real whiz-bang of an automobile. Now we have the uh, float from the Baha'i Faith, a religious float in the parade this year. And immediately behind that, Karen? We have the Noka Dairy Float. That's a 32-foot replica of Captain Cook's ship Discovery, a three-masted collier which was built by Noka Vernon employees in 200 hours volunteer work parties. Noka Dairies owned by dairy farmers of BC Interior and on the float our own Miss Interior of BC, Jane Canelli, and Captain Cook himself, Cornell. You bet. Jane saying good morning to all the, her people. Well, uh, there's something Captain Cook I don't think had. He didn't have a PA system on board his boat back in 1790, whatever it was. But I think he ha probably had very good lungs. Cornell, the next float is the Job's Daughters float, and on their float is the honored Queen Jackie Robinson, the senior princess Sherry Coots, and junior princess Judy Allen. Oh, and look at this beautiful float coming, Cornell. Yeah, Lilac, well, guess from in. where uh, it right comes now, from. Yeah, this is the Spokane float from the Lilac Festival. Queen Tammy Sweeney and Princesses Lisa Perry and Terry Crop are on board. And uh, yeah, okay. I think you mentioned last night this is probably one of the few or the first time that we've seen a contingency, a contingent from um, 
from Spokane, the Lilac Festival, and it's certainly a colorful addition, isn't it? It sure is, Cornell, and something that we see when we travel around with our floats is their committee members dressed in their colors and supporting their floats. This is quite a popular thing down in the States. Looks nice. And I think lilac is such a lovely color. Our beautiful honorary parade marshal, Gracie McNeil. She was the one who presented the flowers to the girls last night at the Sweetheart Pageant on stage. And what a lovely touch it was on stage for the people. To our people that are listening, in case they didn't know, Gracie McNeil was Cranbrook's first queen, Queen Vimy. And she's, of course, Cranbrook's Citizen of the Year this year, she too. She certainly is. She certainly is. Well, here's that uh, Kimberly Pipe Band. Love to see them. They're, uh, in almost every parade, they're... Uh, they're followed, of course, by the Kilties. Lila Cooper's dancers. I've just been keeping in the reading in the paper, Cornell, and Lila's dancers are certainly bringing home their fair share of medals. We're very fortunate in Cranbrook to have Lila and many talented people. That's right. Scottish dancers, we have visiting royalty, Miss Rebel Stoke, Shirley Hood, and Princess Sandra Chismada. And behind that, Miss Spokane, not to be confused with the Lilac Festival Queen, Miss Spokane 1978, Chris Szymanski. Cranbrook Bantam Girls Bowling Team, and of course, Cornell, we're very proud of those girls. They brought back to Cranbrook a national championship. You bet. And there's the hard getting a big hand. The hardworking members of the Kinsman Club and their car, 1978 Ford. Some lucky winner will take home a brand new car this evening. You bet. And here's Miss uh, Creston. And Princess Karen Wigan representing uh, the Crest and Blossom Festival at the parade here this year. Immediately oh, behind her. The Mount Baker Mardi Gras royalty, Miss Mardi Gras Brenda Pascuzo and Princess Aileen Osterhold. And behind them, the Caslow May Queen. Right, uh, from Caslow we have Debbie Jensen, the Queen, and Princess Wendy Settle. Welcome to Cranbrook, girls. They were all down at the Sweetheart Pageant last night. What a lovely contingent of visiting royalty we had. I think the biggest contingent of visiting royalty we've ever had, Cornell, and it's keeping Frankie Ricky pretty busy keeping on top of where they're all going and what they're doing. These are the big horses, Karen. They've come to us from Langley, Cornell. The Potter Distilleries Limited uh, horses, and my goodness, they have a first prize there, Karen. I just can't see what category, but they have a first prize. And so do the group behind them. These are the Sam Steele Scouts. These are a group of men from Calgary, Alberta, and they're bringing to us, Cornell, the our theme. They are retracing Colonel Sam Steele's travels. Well, it means they at least come from Fort McLeod to uh, Cranbrook in Fort Steele. That's right. And uh, it seems to me, Karen, I'm wondering, uh, taking a look at the gentleman leading the parade, he just went by, uh, dressed in uh, Sam Steele Northwest Mounted Police uniform, have we uh, ever had a, a Sam Steele leading the parade or in the parade before? It, we have a Sam Steele parade, and we don't usually have Colonel Sam Steele in it. But we do this year. We and do this year, Cornell. And look at all the scouts. That, yes. Something the committee have been trying to do for a long time, and I do believe we have an original Sam Steele costume, but the man who is supposed to be wearing this costume is probably up in the hill, not even able to see the parade, and that's Larry Crossweight. Rod Holmes has, in the past two years, worn the Super Sam costume. That's right. I think we have another politician for you, Karen. 
I think we do, but I don't know who it is. I'm sorry. The I think it's Stan Graham, the That's progressive right. conservative nominee for the upcoming federal election, whenever it may be called. Okay. Right. Cornell, behind him, we have a float advertising the Cranbrook Double E Boxing Club. And, of course, this afternoon at 2.30 in the Cranbrook Memorial Arena, Cranbrook's own Derek Hoyt will be fighting the biggest fight of his life. And I know that that place is just going to be jam-packed of Cranbrook people cheering Derek on. Well, I hope it is. I hope that people take the time out to go and uh, support this uh, local fellow. Well, I think that the boxing club has really taken a second seat to a lot of activities in Cranbrook, and Mike Moore and Harry Gould really deserve our support. Welcome to Chinook Country, a float from Lethbridge, Alberta. Isn't that nice to have them into Cranbrook? Look, look at the, the train Look at the little train that goes all the way around. That's getting a real hand. It sure that's is. That's beautiful. I well, think, Cornell, that's a first to have a Lethbridge entry in our parade. We've attended several of theirs, but I think that's the first time we've ever had them, and what a welcome addition. Well, certainly it is. Glad to see you. Glad to see Lethbridge represented here. Well, here come the girls. What more do I need to say, Karen? You can just talk about them for a minute, and then we'll just back off and listen. I just get goosebumps all over when I hear them. Cornell, the girls are sporting new uniforms, made, of course, by their band director, Mrs. Metcalf, and her hard-working chaperones. I also had the pleasure of seeing the girls perform a stage show at the opening night on Thursday night, and it's fantastic. Let's listen to our girls. something. There's the old bathtub going up and down. I haven't seen any of the cavemen coming down from the They'll ACT, but here. there they are in the background, uh, shaking it up. Cranbrook Play sh School shake. put a float in for us this year for right. now. And there's the Cutter's Corner. See that little, uh, well, I don't know, it's an automobile or something running along. Beautiful little float. Park West Motors 